Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we have a battle of the Titans. The Titans of adjustable dumbbells. This is the new bells versus the snowed drop proof fully cast iron adjustable dumbbells. Two of the most popular, most hyped, best reviewed dumbbells out of the dozens of adjustable dumbbells that we've reviewed. These two are some that stand at the top. But which one do I recommend most of all? The answer may surprise you. Let's do it. Okay, so today I'm reviewing two of the best and fastest changing adjustable dumbbells that are on the market. We've tested and reviewed the lot of them. You guys know this if you've been around for a while. If you haven't, I'd suggest subscribing because we have more than just these upcoming, some really nice ones and some that you haven't heard of. We review a lot of adjustable dumbbells and pretty much every fitness product category, but I like to do all of them and then give my opinion on them. Today, I'm gonna be speaking specifically on the new bell and the snowed adjustable dumbbells. Recently, we did a full breakdown on the snowds and one comment that kept coming up was, Coop, you need to do a comparison between those and I would say the reigning champion in the adjustable dumbbell realm, and that is these. These are the new bells. Both of these are somewhat modern takes on adjustable dumbbells. Both of these have been rated very highly. Both of these look from the outside very similar, but I do have some very specific opinions and some very specific call outs on both of these and which one, and I'm gonna give you a specific one, I'm not just gonna give you a non-answer, of which one I think is the best for most of you that are watching. Now, before I get into it, number one, just for transparency's sake, we do this every video if this is your first time here. These were sent to us free of charge by the companies to do a review. It's gonna be my honest take. There's things I like about these, there's things I don't like about these. Also, we'll put links below the like button. Sometimes we have specific discount codes for you guys. We put those down there as well. But if you go through those links, the company will pay us a small commission. Doesn't affect how much you pay, but does allow us to continue doing what we do here. Okay, let's get into it. Now I've got categories for these and I'm gonna break them down and give points for each one that wins. So I've got size, I've got cradle, I've got design, I've got feeling, I've got so many I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna tell you which one specifically wins for each category and then add them all up at the end and tell you which one I think is the best overall. So let's start with the size. Now the size of the dumbbell I think is more important than most give credence to. The reason being, as these get heavier, they get wider and more unwieldy. And these have a little bit different design ethos in terms of the size. The length of the new bell, because this is kind of the stalwart that's been around, is 17 inches long. That's a very compact 80 pound dumbbell compared to other adjustable dumbbells that are out there. The snowed on the other hand is 18.11 inches long. So it's about an inch or so, a little bit longer than that, longer than the new bells. The difference is, and one reason that it's longer, is it has a thinner diameter diameter head. So the diameter head on this is 6.7 inches. On the new bell, it's 7.5 inches. I, personally, you're looking at two different things. One's longer, which is snowed. One takes up more diameter, which is new bell. If I was to pick a preference for which one, I would prefer a thicker diameter head and a shorter, more compact dumbbell. So for this category, I would say new bell, largely because the head isn't that much bigger when you consider during movements, but a longer dumbbell does get more unwieldy. So I'm going with new bell for this category. Okay, then we've got feeling. Now I wanna say first and foremost, if you've come from other adjustable dumbbells, say power blocks, these are going to feel much better, I think for most of you. And also, if you're coming from a commercial gym or used to using fixed dumbbells that aren't adjustable, and this is like the biggest thing that's in people's heads, they're like, I don't want adjustable dumbbells because I don't feel like fixed dumbbells. And often that has been the case. These both feel like fixed dumbbells. If you close your eyes and you just use them, they're a cageless design. You can do just about everything you can with a fixed dumbbell that you can with these. I wouldn't suggest dropping either of them, although one of them, the Snodes in particular, are rated for dropping up to 32 inches, which new bells are not. However, in use, they both feel like a fixed dumbbell. 
which means they're very balanced on both sides. They have a rounded head, which is similar to the pro style dumbbells that you see littered throughout every serious gym that's in the world. They have a knurled handle. Just overall, they're a very balanced feeling dumbbell, which is what you want. You don't want to think about something offset or feeling weird when you're training. You want something that feels like a fixed dumbbell and both of these do that. Now, due to the size of these, the new bells are more compact and a more compact dumbbell, I think feels better overall because you're not having to like worry about the side to side sway or balancing it as much because the center of gravity is closer to the fixed point, which is your hand. But the other thing that I think factors in here is actually the width between the heads of the dumbbell. So the width between each side of the head of the dumbbell where your hand is sitting, so you've got the handle and then basically the adjustment mechanism. On the Snowed, you're looking at eight and a half inches between the heads. On the Nua Bells, it's seven inches. So for feeling overall, although they both feel similar to a fixed set of dumbbells, a more compact dumbbell is gonna feel like a more balanced dumbbell. And because the weight isn't so far out away from your hand, I think the new belt is a more balanced feeling dumbbell overall than the Snowds, although I still think it's kind of minor between them. All right, then to the cradle. So these both sit on a cradle. So when you pull it out, there's still a cradle here no matter what. You place the cradle, say, on a stand. As long as, as it's on a flat surface, you're gonna be able to put the dumbbell in and adjust it very seamlessly. This is a big difference between these two and something that I think most people don't consider because they're just thinking about the dumbbell itself and using it, but these are very different cradles. Although the, the design is similar, the materials and the construction of them is very different. This is one of the original designs for this style of dumbbell. It's using an aluminum rod with plastic cradle. So it's a very lightweight cradle, easy to move around. It's also much more prone to breaking than this guy. This is full cast iron. It is heavy. It is goodness. I freaking love the cradle. You don't use the cradle when you're training, so I don't think this is the most important feature on these dumbbells, but by and large, the snowed cradle absolutely blows away the competition of the new bell. Like seriously, this cradle is so much better, so much heavier, so much more stable. It feels like it's just so much more sturdy when you're placing the dumbbell in. When I'm training, I'm just like in a rage monster mode. Like I'm not thinking about being nice to my equipment. I don't wanna just gently set it in there. I wanna freaking slam that sucker. And if I slam this dumbbell into this cradle, it just slams right back. It's very, it's a, it feels very good. Whereas this one, you kind of just got to be a little bit careful with it because it's plastic and aluminum and you don't want to break it. So I don't think it should be something that should make or break your decision, but I absolutely love the Snowed and I think it's vastly superior to what New Bells is doing on this stand. Okay, speaking of the durability of the stand, let's talk about the durability of the dumbbells overall. This is a somewhat durable dumbbell. New bells, I would say, are a somewhat new durable dumbbell. I don't think they're as durable, and I haven't seen them be as durable as something like Power Block. But for what they are and like how they feel over, say, a Power Block, I think the durability is there. The reason they're not as durable is because they're not using a fully steel construction. They're using much more plastic than say some other companies such as Snowed. The cradle is using more plastic. They're using nylon gears inside. But I think really the part of this that is most prone to breaking is also a benefit for this, which I'll talk about later, but it's this design right here. So this is the five pound handle. And this is a huge benefit to new bells. They have a five pound start weight. Most adjustable dumbbells don't start that light. That's very nice. Some of you are like, I just wanna know about the max weight, but there's a lot of people out there, myself included, that use five pounds for different rehab work, prehab work, all that sort of thing. And I only want one set of dumbbells. So if I only want one set of dumbbells, being able to go low matters almost as much as it being able to go high. So the problem though, is look how thin of wall that steel is. That's a five pound machine steel plate. So anytime I've seen these break, it's not really at the handle, it's right there. What'll happen, and I've seen this, I've seen photos of it where it's rolled off a bench or something, fallen on concrete or whatever, and then that snaps. If that snaps, then you're gonna have to buy a new plate, screw it on, it's just like an annoyance. If something's gonna break, in my opinion, on these, it's probably not gonna be anything, maybe the stand, because the stand's plastic, but I think mostly what I've seen is that wall right here. 
On the Snodes, you're looking at, they call it a full cast iron construction, which I think is a little bit dubious because it's not fully cast iron. It's mostly cast iron. The plates are cast iron, as is the stand, but the handle is not cast iron. It's using more plastic. This is chrome. It's got plastic inside, plastic adjustment dial. But without a doubt, this is a much more durable dumbbell than what we're seeing from Nua Belt. So this is using cast iron plates, whereas these are machined steel. But the part that is most likely to break on this is reinforced on this. This is a thicker plate, but not only that, they added these ridges in between that allow it to be stiffer and less prone to breaking if it drops. So of both of these dumbbells, if I'm just looking at them, which one is most durable overall? Well, they're using similar gears inside, nylon. They're using a similar aluminum rod system. They're using steel, machine steel plates, whereas Snode's using cast iron, but both of those are durable. This has a cast iron cradle. That one is plastic and aluminum for their cradle. Overall, these are also drop proof, supposedly from 32 inches, which we've tested, and they're warranted to be drop proof up to a year. So for durability's sake, definitely Snode. Now, one thing I wanna call about on the durability of these, in our initial review, I talked about this dovetail system right here, which is what connects the plates together. It's a similar dovetail system to what Nuobel is using. The difference is this is cast into the plate. And originally, I said that was a huge benefit and much less prone to breaking. And I think that may be true, but I actually had some people shout out in the comments. I, I love this. We just have so many people that watch that are into all these different things. And there's some metallurgists that are in the comments basically letting me know this may not be a superior design because what happens is if this breaks or cracks, I mean, it's cast, it's not steel. If this cracks, then you've got to replace this whole plate. Whereas with Nubel, because they're using plastic right here, which I think is usually annoying, but they said that may be a benefit. If that breaks, you can just replace that part. So that may actually be a benefit to Nubel. We'll have to see over time. I haven't had the Snodes break yet at that point. I haven't heard of anybody having them break. If you have, let me know in the comments, but I do think it's worth calling out. Thank you for those that watch and let me know different things that I may not be privy to. So let me know if you've got other stuff too. All right, then to the warranty. This one's real quick. One year, including drops from 32 inches, two year. Because this one's longer, yes, this one does have it for dropping, this one does not. But honestly, I wouldn't really recommend dropping either adjustable dumbbell. It's just nice that if this one does, you're warrantied for it, but it's only a year. I'm kind of surprised Snow doesn't try to match Nuobel with that, but this one's two year, this one's one year. So therefore, longer term, better warranty. I'm going with this one. Okay, now the adjustment system. The adjustment system matters a lot. These both have a very fast changing adjustment system. They're both using nylon gears on the inside. They're both a quick change and they're both using aluminum rods that extend on both sides with one change of the adjustment system. For Nuobel, this is one of the best that's out there. You grab the handle, you're already using it and you quickly spin it. It has a nice audible click you can hear. Just listen. Very nice. So it's very quick, lets you know, and it's like, like kind of got haptic. You can kind of got haptic feedback. Like you can feel a little vibration when it slides in there. It's just overall, it's a very satisfying feel, very quick to change. As long as it's on a flat surface, I've had no problems with the changing. The only time there's ever really been hiccups is when it's on an incline. This on the snow dumbbell is different. It's still fast changing. It still has a rod that's changing on both sides, but the handle is fixed. It does not move at all. What changes is this dial here. This dial is what changes the increments. It does have a noise. It does have a little bit of a haptic feedback, but overall it's not nearly as satisfying as that. It's also not quite as quick. Also, you have to take your hand off the handle and then do it. Like, honestly, these are minor things. You're not gonna go that much faster with Nubel than with this, but I just wanna speak overall. The adjustment system, in my opinion, that is superior between these two is Nubel. I like the handle. One thing that Snowed calls out is theirs is superior because it has a fixed handle and therefore the handle never wobbles or moves while you're training. But once you pull the dumbbell out, the handle doesn't move on the Nuobel either. So I don't think it's a big call out that you have to be worried about. It's only when it's in, locked in, is there any movement. I prefer just keeping my hands on there. So think about this, for drop sets, super sets, you can literally just go boom, do your set, go back down, go back up, just like that. Whereas this one, you gotta take it off, change it, 
not a huge deal, but this one is definitely quick. One thing that I think is overlooked for dumbbells in particular, and definitely adjustable dumbbells, is the accuracy of the dumbbells. It may say five pounds, but that doesn't mean it's five pounds necessarily. Typically there's some variance there. Even for like really calibrated plates, there's gonna be some variance. Now I like to be as close to the stated weight as possible. That's the goal. If it says 25, I want it to be as close there as possible. And I prefer it to be a little bit over rather than under. I don't wanna underpay for the amount of weight that I'm getting. So for both of these, they're both similar in accuracy. They aren't exact. The Snodes generally are a little bit under the stated weight. The new belts are a little bit over. But this is one thing I noticed when weighing them. There's a bigger difference between the handle weight than I thought there would be. So for the Snodes, at the lightest weight, 10 pounds, it's exactly 10 pounds. So money in the bank, shoddy what you think. For the new belts, start weight is five pounds, but it's actually 6.3. That's like a big, like, that's 1.3 pounds. That's a big percentage of the five pound. Not a huge deal, because I don't think a lot of people are going, ah, oh, 6.3 pounds is way too heavy. Five pounds would just be perfect. I don't think that matters too much, but I do think it's worth calling out. So for accuracy, because I think they're both similar, because I don't think the handle is a big enough worry, a big enough problem, I think it's a wash. They both get a point for this one. Now to the weight increments and the weight range. This is a big difference between these, and I think this is a deal breaker for some people. First off, the Newabels, five to 80 pounds. 80 pounds is the max. Neither of these are expandable. What you see is what you get. You're not gonna be able to add plates later on. If you want a certain weight increment, get the highest end because you're not gonna be able to upgrade it over time. Starting weight is five pounds, or <laughs> more accurately, 6.3 pounds, but still very lightweight. Max weight is 80 pounds. Snodes, start at 10 pounds. So a little bit of an annoyance, a little bit worse than starting at five pounds. Go up to the same 80 pounds, but the biggest difference is that these change in 10 pound increments, whereas these, nice Sam, change in five pound increments. That I think for a lot of you is like, you know, that, that is a deal breaker. When we did the review on Snowed, people were like, man, I, don't, I get those if I could only change in five pound increments. Now there is something to consider with the Snowds. Ever since our review, they've since come out with magnet adder weights that go on the outside that are 1.25 pounds. You could change them in much smaller increments, but it's not built into the system. And because it's not built into the system, I think for weight increments, New Bell is superior. The ability to go from five up to 80 and then have double the amount of adjustments, therefore double the amount of dumbbells you're essentially taking up on the rack, this is superior by far. The magnets, I'm glad they added them. Like it's a nice addition, I'm glad they listened. At the same time, it's still an annoyance. Still something else you have to grab off the wall and put on there. Also on their website, it's kind of unclear if they're free or not. In one place it says they're free. In another place, if you use the code, and add them, it's another 40 bucks. So it's like, it's all on the same page, but it says two different things. So I don't know which one is which. When I added them to the cart, you had to pay for them, but I don't know if there's a way you can email them or whatever. So worth calling out, but generally the adjustments and the weight increments that are available because this one starts lighter and also because it has more weight increments, new bells superior to Snowed. Now the other thing with magnets is because they just go on the outside, they're not as flat as say something like PlateMate. So plate mates is what I often use. They're actually, they're small, but their renderings also, we don't know exactly what they look like and I don't think they do either because they're not manufactured yet, but they stick out like a nub. So if you're using them say on your, on your thigh or something, that could get in the way or you also have to worry about them falling off and hitting you in the face while you're chest pressing or something like that. So a little bit annoying. So something I wanted to mention. Okay, then let's move to the handle. The handle on the Nua Bell is neural goodness. It's a straight, feels very similar to a barbell. It's a medium passive neural. It's not quite as sharp as what I would say is an exact medium, but it feels good. Most people are gonna like it. I think the snowed handle is a little bit more passive. It's also chrome plated, whereas that one's bright zinc. Generally speaking, the other thing is this is a thicker handle, which I prefer. This is 32 millimeters, whereas Nuabel is 28 millimeters. These are very similar. I don't think it's a big enough thing to really say like one is better than the other, other than the fact that this is a longer handle than Nuabel. 
and overall a little bit more unwieldy. I do prefer the thicker handle though. So honestly, I think there's positive and negatives about both, but I'm just gonna say I, I think it's a wash for this. It kind of just depends on your preference. If you have a smaller hand or like a smaller handle, you're gonna like the 28 millimeter. If you like a thicker handle, you're gonna like this one. However, the compactness of Nubel, I think, I think generally is better, but I do like the thick handle, so just up to you to decide. Okay, two other things. One is the appearance. Now, this will matter to some of you, this won't matter at all to others of you. If you are into colors, you're gonna like Nobels because they have different colors. If you want any color, so long as it's black, you're gonna really like Snodes because they only come in black. So differences, I think they look very similar. They both look like pro style dumbbells. Honestly, I think this, this is the least important category, but I'm gonna give it to Nubels simply because they have so many options in colors. They have green, they have red, I've seen blue, I think, also white and black. And I think I've seen a camo before too. So there's just a lot of different colors they're offering with these with powder coat. These are only black. Okay, lastly, let's round it out. This is the value proposition. So this is the pricing for Nubels for the 80 pound set for the basic classic color, which looks just like this. It's 745 bucks with free shipping. That's five to 80 pounds, two of them with two cradles, 745 bucks for a pair of snowed adjustable dumbbells of the 80 80s. They're 795 bucks on sale. Now that sale has been as long as I've been alive. Well, not quite that long because they haven't been around that long, but as long as the company's been alive, it's been 995 bucks with a 20% discount, which brings it out to 795 bucks. So I think that's really what you're looking at. 795 versus 745. These are a little bit more if you get color, so they're more, so they're more similar in price. But these also supposedly have free magnets that you have to pay for. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. We'll see. I'm sure they'll let us know. But that's how it stands right now as of the review. So the value proposition, I think they're very similar. You're getting a drop proof dumbbell in this one. This one, you're getting one that has more increments. This one you could add magnets to, but this one just kind of has the increments built in. So overall, which one is the winner? Well, when I tally up all these categories, I think it's quite clear. Now, generally, I think the Nubels are the best for most of you that are watching because most of you aren't going to really have issues with the durability. Most of you would prefer the five pound start weight with five pound increments up to 80 pounds. And most of you would prefer a more compact dumbbell. But there are some of you out there that don't really mind the 10 pound weight increments. You don't need a five pound start weight, maybe prefer a 10 pound start weight. You don't mind using magnets to attach and you don't mind it feeling a little bit more unwieldy because it's a little bit longer than the Nubels. But you would prefer durability. If you're just like, I want the most durable dumbbell that's very similar to Nubels, has a quick change, then these are the ones I would get because these are very durable. Not as durable, I'd say, as say the Pepin Fast Series that we've reviewed, but still a very durable dumbbell and I think a very good price point. So. Overall, you're gonna have to make the decision. If you're just like, Coop, which ones would you get? I'd get these because I like the five pound increments, but man, these are a good value prop. I think they're gonna push Nubel in some ways. I hope, well, it'd be sick if Nubel just started making a cast iron cradle too. That would be awesome. But let me know in the comments which one you would prefer. If you have experience with either one, I'd love to hear it. I often use those and they help me in my reviews. And we're gonna be reviewing more of these in the future. Would you like to see these compared to any other adjustable dumbbells that are out there? Let me know in the comments. This has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. I'll see you next time. Peace.